The rules are pretty straightforward. The players have to pot the balls in numerical order. The man who sinks the nine ball wins the rack. It's the best of three sets. Each set, the best of seven racks. Already through to the last eight, Tom Storm, who put out the reigning European Masters champion in straight sets. Back here, France, KO'd the UK number one, a good win for snooker specialist Tony Knowles. Mike Massey keeping the flag flying for the USA. And in the bottom half of the draw, Ralph Suke, more and more the favourite for this event. It's Japan against Ireland in tonight's matchup. Takeshi Okomura of Japan, the 1994 world champion. His opponent, the Disher Donlan, has been ranked number one in the UK. We're going to pick up the match right at the start with Sid Waddell and Chris Carter. Thank you, gentlemen. Like the lad, please. <laughs> We've been having fun, haven't we, Sid? Name of the game, Chris Baby. First time me and Chris has uh, given the verbals together. Lots and lots of fun here. And a challenge in the cultural as well as the, uh, the scientific side of pool. Well... Uh, the Japanese man wins uh, the lag, and uh, again, Tommy Donlan uh, indicating perhaps that nerves have got to him, because the ball didn't even get over the ball line. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First rack, first set. Takeshi Okamura. So, I've been trying to uh, get some more speed into my eight ball uh, break off by getting up on my legs like... Uh, the body dancer, let's see what this lad's style is like. And see the oh, amazing body coordination and power there, kid. Hey, Chris, the way, I mean, he wiggled from his big tour. And let me tell you, I have his nose. I, I questioned him because he is. Oh, here's this break again. Look at that action. Just dropping in all over the place. He weighs just 52 kilos. He's about, uh, what's that, nine stone or something? So to hit the ball there, which would be between 23 and 25 mile an hour, is absolutely fantastic. Oh, Every then. ounce of body weight and technique. I think there's a, there's a, there's a plant down here, yes. The plant here to win the Certainly is. Down he goes. That's it. Doesn't uh, waste time. Got the break, which is the first rack. Okamura ahead. Yeah, rising sun of Japanese pool. Wax in this four to nine plant. After giving a blitzer of a brick. Might not last long, this one. Oh, Tommy Donlan's got a return ticket. Well, we, uh, we've we seen the Brits not... Um, well, getting better, I think it's fair to say, with their breaks. We've... Uh, uh, let's see what uh, Tommy Donlan can do now. Second rack. First set. Tommy Donlan. Come on, Tommy. So, side of the ball pushing. Winds himself up for the big break. Lifts that back leg, I'm sure. Come on, Dick. Well, a ball down. So uh, he's back to the table, and uh, a lot of movement, but nowhere near the power of uh, that uh, lightweight Japanese. Well, as I say, the guy's always been written about in the full magazines, uh, Fancy Bustamani, in the States, once whacked the ball at 30 mile an hour on the break, and he's a slimmish lad, no size at all. Uh, uh, the average, I would think, is 23.5 mile an hour in what I've seen so far, including Specifically, the Moscone Cup, where we had a speed gun. I thought he was 0.6 downhill. Yeah, I think if you run about 23, you're good. Anything over 25 is phenomenal. Once the uh, blue two, made a bit of a mess of it. Well, he's got to settle down quickly because uh, his opponent, uh, uh, again, had a chance to have a quick look at him on the practice table before this, tonight's match and. Uh, very, very skillful. From Fukuoka in Japan. Favorite pool player, the legendary Nick Von X. And when he's not tussling around a table, he's up on a big Honda, burning up the ton. Didn't oh. intend that double kiss off the cush. He may have got away with it, though. Yeah. 
very tricky for Tommy here it's from uh, Leicester to do much with the blue too yes the neon palace like something that the Star Trekers might have roped in but of course we are the rainbow trekkers on the pool tables of the world they said that the director was life but not as we knew it Tommy is nicknamed the Disher, don't know why. Because he uh, dishes the uh, finishes, he cleans up the table. There you go, the spirit of Wordsworth and Shelley still uh, blaze on the bays. Well, a berth into not a very purple. In fact, this isn't even a Pale Pierce passage. Does that mean past violet? In fact, in the game at the moment, I've seen more life in a tramp's vest. Well, again, I think uh, the Japanese uh, man has come out of this uh, better than you might have hoped after that uh, fairly slack shot. And the English or Brit style of play, eye down to the table. See how the uh, Japanese lad approaches the ball. As I say, the Americans don't take their eye to the ball. My dad taught me to take my nose almost down to the queue for playing shots. Yeah, he's about a foot, nine inches above the centre of the queue. And this almost like something at the crucible at one o'clock in the morning when safety is the name of the game. <coughs> All those years when Davis and Griffiths would keep us sitting there playing it safe. It's all part of this game, this game amazing curious guru of all the skills of ball sports. Well, can, can the disher get out of this one? No, he can't. And I tell you what, that nine ball looks very nicely poised. So the two is the plant. The two nine plant looks the obvious. And I think that whisket was once part of the curtains at the Okira Hilton. The plant, boom! You saw it, folks! And then it came through the old living rooms! The second uh, rack, 10 L. Tommy Donlan. Got to apologise for my co-commentator. Not many Japanese uh, linguistic coaches in Derby. Welcome back to the Winter Gardens. We're still in the first set, and it's 3-2 now to Donlan. Tommy Donlan to Rake. First set, leading by three racks to two. Tommy Donlan then, winding himself up. Yes, handling the cue like Sir Galahad, looking for the best stick at the jousting match. Needs a bit of movement on the nine ball, well, not enough. Not going in, but not the nine ball, and fortunately for Tommy, not the white ball. Mm. <coughs> yeah, he did not enough power to keep the nine moving but enough bounce and the view from uh, Okamura San good shot So Disha looking to take the first set here. Goes the four. That's two.
So the blue's down, blue two, wants the red. Four's gone, looking at the five. So with the awkwardest shot he's got on, I think, Chris, this. Yes, I think... Uh, but he's looked good on these five footers. Well, wish you done one. Yes. He's got his nickname because he can't pop the wall. Go on, Adisha! <laughs> and he's not called out because he's the first to reach for the tea towel. Yes, Tommy! And this to wrap up the first set. One ball. Does it with a flourish. Down he goes. He's won the first set. Ball two. Oh, the old Leicester clan. The Leicester put something to shout about. That's right. Dishak doing a wiping job on the Japanese who look very impressive on his bricks. But the Dishak is now dishing out some pin with his body. This was the key shot in the last ball. That orange. Thank you, gentlemen. Your lag. Your second set. Well, earlier on, he lagged like an old lag. The ball hardly came past the middle pocket, but I'm sure... No, I think he's struggling again. Well, Tommy, we thought it was nerves the first time. Obviously, he's... Uh... <coughs> well, it looks well, almost Akimura. as though he let you want in the... Uh... Changing sides here, Akamura. Which should show that he's worried about the shot from the other side of the head string. No. Well. So maybe Tommy's thinking that all the other Japanese guy is giving it with such a whack that they spin for a good 11 seconds after the smack off. The nine isn't proceeding on the right lateral lines to the top pockets. So maybe Tommy isn't trying to ward on the leg. It's a possible theory. Possible, but unlikely. I think uh, it's an advantage to have the break on the opening uh, rack of a set. Uh, what I do think, though, is that um, Tommy Donnell will be delighted to having seen his opponent change sides. It means his opponent is not happy with the way he breaks, and that will give Tommy Donnell a lot of encouragement. If that had gone down, it would have given him even more encouragement, wouldn't it? This should have been planted, the orange off the blue two. And as one assumes that the Japanese lad will play the same shot. Let's just see the shot. But I haven't thought he might be looking to pack. Well, I think he maybe tried to put that nine ball down. Red three now, bottom left. Purple Ch for middle, maybe. Changing hands, so we can... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as usual, ignoring any possible shot into the middle. Your options are open. The more you use the long pockets. Yeah, you have a speculative look at the track the nine was on. But he was tracking on fantasy, I reckon. Blow two down. And the uh, brown seven sitting over the middle. Nice, again he's making the long angle. These, these rails are so uh, seductive to the ball. They hug the ball. So a contact foot from the pocket will generally mean the ball's in. Bottom left. 
didn't need the contact and it centimeter perfect and uh, Takeshi Okamura looks as though he might go ahead just as he did in the opening set but he lost that one as well Choking the queue with the noise of a cement mixer. Tickles out the nine nicely to give him just the angle he wants. Doesn't look too happy about it, does he? I think he's looking at the possibility of the end off, so he's playing over loads of bottom. Sticks to his side, does the usual bending of the cue. Winds himself up. The white ball goes down, scratches oh, scratch. on the break. We'll be very displeased about that. Now, is there a plant on? Here's the break again. The white ball minding his own business, just nudged up towards that top pocket. Even the red ball can't stop it going in. Now, any plants here? So, the yellow ball first. Blue two goes to top left. Needs a bit of bottom to leave the uh, purple four. Opposite corner. Get rid of the blue first. Uses the cush to give himself a nice angle on the four. Yeah, everyone's uh, enjoying this one. is there if he wants it should he get down to the green that would uh, wrap it up just a little earlier but not that much it would just uh, save him one shot wouldn't it two shots lost the first set but it's one nil up in racks second set best to three sets first one or two wins. well he won the first set he uh, won the first rack in the opening set and won the second rack too but still lost the set that's beautifully powered. Now, if he's thinking about what Chris mentioned, the plant. Orange first, of course. He needs to water the shot. He needs to hit this orange strong enough to bring it off the near cushion and pack over. Takes perfect weighting, although the contact's fairly straightforward. So watch where the white ends up. Uh, going straight for it is not tried to plant green top left off the cushion of the brown and back down the table for the nine ball Well, 
not what he wanted. Played with a lot of side, but nearly took it into the pocket. Oh, so they, this turns into a bit of a pressure shot. 25% conduct needed, quarter ball. Chris Pickett, it was a pressure shot. He actually, there was no need to end up where he did on that. He made it twice as difficult as it should have been. Now, can Tommy <coughs> take advantage of <coughs> well, let's, Donovan got the first set. This to keep on the tail of the Japanese lad. Oh, worried and less delicious. <laughs> and Tommy's handling the button like a novice twirler. Should have been three feet nearer the nine should the Japanese guy. And he left this relatively simple. Oh, it's got to be done. That was less than a quarter ball. Welcome back. Okamura now leading three racks to one in the second set. So this three rack one, for Okamura set. to level the sets up if he can win it. And the question is, can he develop anything off the nine? Come back in the one. Now again, a three-inch movement of the nine ball, but. Got one down, yeah, and the yellow's looking handy, the yellow one. Yeah, the balls look uh, nice as well together. Here's the break again. Winds himself up. Doesn't really go anywhere at all. Okay, one down. It's <coughs> looking for the blue two here. And if he takes this rack, we go to the deciding set. Donlan took the first one. Well, is this a red plant onto the nine ball? Are we going to be brave? Angie's considering it. So, is it going to be a plant? I think he's trying the plant. I'm not sure he's supposed to do it. The other balls look very loose and open to me, so... I think the plant... No. Oh, almost. Yeah, not far off a cannon. <coughs> I think that was uh, just the aftermath, not intended. No. Yeah. When you try to hold your place in the white cross, puts your second team kid, you say they're intended. <laughs> and uh, coming up in our next program next week, uh, Steve, interesting Davis, stopped playing chess for five minutes, decided not the ball's about. Obviously reckons that this game's got another set to go because he hasn't got the Bibb and Tucker on yet. SD. Well, well, it's now starting to get difficult, isn't it? No, he's not going to think about a 6-9 cannon, is he? 
I'd be daft enough to try that because that's a straight angle. The angle between the six and the nine is I a don't possible think so. plan. No. Well. In fact, did a very clever intermediate plant. So looking good for taking it to the last set to the cider. Doesn't need to finish cut. Yes, this is beginning to look very good indeed for the former world champion. Bread and butter shot, or as they say in Tokyo, with sushi and chips job. And that this to win the second set 4-1 and to level it up and put it into a decider. No problem. Takeshi Okamura takes the second set. set. We're into the third set and the decider. Yeah, you see the percentage, what I call an intermediate shot. To hit the ball, you have to hit the low ball and take anyone in that happens to be in line. And here is the World Match Play Trophy. It's the one on the right. I'll remind you. But these lads will pour out their goods to lay their hands on that silverware. In the practice room, officials, including boss official, Alan Chamberlain here. Break. And the question is, one has to say, Chris, can he develop his break, the power of the break in the move in the nine towards the pocket or even in, or will Tommy's Disha pot in ability dominate this deciding set? Well, again, a ball down, but the nine ball not really showing any interest in going into a pocket. Lots of effort here. Lots of noise. Lots Brilliant. of bouncing. Yeah, like a Waka Eunice Yorker. The ball leaping off the deck for about four feet to half volley into the pack. What's wrong with that either? Blue is next. Zero. Well, this is when uh, you don't really have any choice about to, than going for the middle pocket. Pulls back for the three, the red three. And just needs to either stun or come off the cush gently for the purple four. A bit like that. It's a bit like working in a scissor grinding factory here. But that's like the toxic darts. The squeal of the resin, choke on the cue, the descant to the talent of Whirlpool. Loads of bottom here. Carl Lowe is striking the ball. Up for the orange. Wanted that to go a bit further as well, didn't he? So now the thin shot the thin cut leaves you easy off the cush to the rail, doesn't it, Tom? To the right? You may have wanted just to go a couple inches more. Perhaps. Yeah. Oh, let's not split headstrings over shot content, kid. No, and he's looking good. In these one, if he can win this one, he will have managed to win the opening uh, rack of all three sets. 
which must mean something. It probably means he's won the opening rack of all three sets. Allow you good position from this one, kid. Well, loads of bottom. Well, he didn't come down the table very much at all, did he? Well, he saw that there the, was only four inches from the bottom pocket, so uh, any angle to the left of centre would have been easy. No problem on that one. Right. Again, the Japanese star wins the uh, opening rack. This one is the third and deciding and crucial set. One set apiece. I mean, Donald won the first one. Takeshi Kubora. Well, it's a bit like my Christmas decoration. Welcome back. It's all level, everything to play for. One set each, two racks each. Takashi Okamura to break. And uh, the chips are down. Can he develop anything in the middle of this? Then I now still get no movement to out the nine on the break. But he no. did get a ball down, and uh, that will make him a little happier. And he does put so much effort that, remember, he's just over eight down this time. Blue ball goes down. And there's uh, Tommy Donlan. Just to uh, sit and just watch his rival in action. Nothing can do now. Yeah, I like your rugby league player sitting in the sin bin, just waiting to get back amongst the action. <laughs> two apiece. Side and set. Got to win by two clear. The other. We could kind of a sudden death on this. Oh, 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 so Tommy could step in here with a long, longish, mid long yellow one, bottom left. Sport this it combines all the angles of most ball sports. All right, obviously snooker and billiards and eight ball pool. Because that bigger table means that spin, run inside and check side come into play much more. Even though the nap isn't as thick as the nap on a normal in the snooker pool or billiards table, it does test every way of working an angle on these balls. That's a much more aggressive game, Chris, than eight ball pool. Oh, absolutely. Nowhere near so uh, defensive. Well, Tommy's not the sort of lad who make a poker player or more brag player. He couldn't bluff his way out of a paper bag. Gives away his feelings. Every time he loses position, two each, decide and set, one set apiece. And when you play safety in this, you've got to be whisker perfect. Can he get down just to clip that into the bottom left-hand pocket? <coughs> well, will he just prefer to uh, change the ends? So he leaves the cue ball down this end, puts the blue ball back up the other end. 
And as Chris suggests, that shot, which I agree is right, you've got a range <coughs> perfect. And whisk get thin on your angles to play safely at this stage in the game. Of nine ball, double kiss, nearly scratched. Ball spread, nine open. All the five remaining balls are open. The four's path, its obvious path, I think, is blocked. It may not be blocked top left. Purple four cuts, but as we've shown so often, the cuts into the middle parts are the hardest at this. Because the knuckles are tighter. Find not just the knuckles on the on the base that are tighter. He's looking <coughs> if the four goes top left. I think the knuckles in the audience are getting tighter as well. The tension is mounting. You can feel it, and uh, yeah. Yeah, the knuckles whitening as the tension mounts on the table. That's the Donlan clan. Now we're coming near the coup de grace at this. Likes the look of the four top left. Yes. No bother. Emoting like Pavarotti on an encore. Brilliant power shot that. Some people would have played that for with finesse. Tommy gave it the big wally. <coughs> if you can get this rack, you could put one of them away, one rack away from the match. The orange is a doddle. The nine is sitting over the middle. The angles don't look too worrisome on the other two balls, Chris. No. No. 99 times out of 100, you would put your money on Tommy Donlan. And nice to see the Weight Watchers in here. We'll have no sizes jokes in this commentary box. Thank you. You ain't heavy, Chris. You're my brother. <laughs> Bad miss, that. Oh, that is what we call in Jordy Land taking the water in. He's letting the nerves down. That should have been a doddle, that pot. Look at that, he had the perfect angle, he just, he pushed on it, he forgot that it's a stroke. When the white's gone in as well, is this a plant, no. is it going to be sudden death here? 2-2 two, two at the moment, decide and set. Screws back for a piece of the proverbial into the middle. Down it goes. Okamura wins that one. He goes ahead 3-2. And it seems as if Tommy Donlan would win it. And now, Japanese star is just one rack away from a place in the quarterfinal. Well, the same Japan, the sun rises, and as we all know, counterbalance, the sunset. Could it be sunset for Tommy after one of the baddest blobs you'll ever see at International Nine Ball Pool? But then. Come on, Tommy Donlan then, Tommy Donlan at the table, Ray. this is the sixth round like in the feature. third set. Can that nine ball go? No, it can't. Can anything go down? Yes. And this is the commentary team of Sid Waddell and uh, Chris Connor bringing you the final stages of what's been a nerve-wracking match, if you'll excuse the pun. Okay.
The Japanese lad kicked off great with some brilliant 25 mile an hour plus breaking off, although the nine wasn't travelling far, then Tommy Donlan's potting brought him into the lead. And we've just seen a really bad miss, four balls out from the nine by Tommy. He's got to control his nerves here, Chris. He's 3-2 down, he can't let one more rack go at this stage. No, or more precisely, he can't let this rack go. No, he can't. He has to win this one. It's the old uh, cliché. Okamura would like to win this one. Donlan has to win it. And one wouldn't like to think that he's clattering the ball so hard out of any kind of emotional tension. Only use power if you have to, kid. Oldest rule in the game. Five balls on the table for Tommy Donlan to pot, to level it up, three apiece. I think he rushed that, he went at that shot, he didn't get into position. <coughs> and he could have uh, thought, rush of blood, that was a stab rather. There was no follow through on that shot at all, a pure stab. Now, can his Japanese opponent take advantage of that mistake. Victory in this rack would put him into the quarter-final. Four more balls to go. Fascinating match. So I think the Celtic temperament of Donlan might have done for him here, as he might have given this lad a present of the last six balls. By his standards, this is an easy tickle along to rail contact over the last six inches. The green should be in, no bother. Even played with that kind of power and control. Three balls between himself place in the quarterfinals. And I wouldn't like his chalk bill in an average pool season. He makes Tommy seem quite sparing, doesn't he? Nine balls out, time is the same cycling. <laughs> Lovely lead. For Blug of his standard, these two should be as elementary as O-level chemistry to Dr. Watson. Tickles this one in, comes round with a bit of side to wrap it up and Tommy's head will drop an inch or two. He blew it at a vital time. That's it. It's all over. Tommy Donlan congratulates his opponent. But it's Takeshi Okamura who goes through to the quarterfinals. He's won this one two sets to one.